Just recently, a leaker threw some pretty interesting new info online about Resident Evil 9 that may shock you. In this video, I will be breaking down the new leaks and giving my personal thoughts about them. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So the leaker starts off by saying that the setting will take place at a ghost town in the west, where a certain investigation will take place. The game will include caves, rivers, camping sites, and a small town. So I really like the sound of the ghost town setting, and uh, hopefully with the setting we can get similar vibes to Silent Hill and maybe they can take some inspiration from the series. Next up, the leaker mentions that the enemies will look like some kind of deformed creatures with a huge emphasis on body horror. They will resemble mythological creatures with horns, and locals will call them the Wendigo or Goatman. So this mythological creature idea does seem a bit weird and out of place if I'm gonna be honest. And as we get further into these leaks, you will find that it seems like Capcom is taking a mythological theme for the entire game. Moving on, the leaker states that enemies will be mimicking human voices and could even transform into a friendly NPC. They can perfectly mimic human voices, and the player will be forced to look at their behavior to know if they're enemies. Monsters can get close to the player by appearing as a friendly NPC if that person died and the player didn't see it. So this sounds really terrifying, especially since you won't be able to tell if the NPC is an enemy. This will definitely keep the player on the edge of their seat throughout the entire game, and definitely make for some good jump scares. From there, it states that the forest is creepy and unsettling. It's easy to get lost without a map. Sometimes you'll hear somebody walk behind you, but the creature isn't there when you turn around. Sometimes the creature is there for real. The leaker then mentions that one of the early bosses is named Bar Guest, which is a black dog with a twist, but a lot less intelligent compared to other enemies. For those of you who don't know, the name Bar Guest actually comes from English folklore as a mythological creature and is described as a goblin who takes the shape of a large dog. Then it states that one of the main antagonists will be a woman named Glaystig by the locals. She has a really beautiful design with green and gold ornaments and a green gown. So guys, the name Glaystig is actually the name of another mythological creature which is actually described described as half woman, half goat. Next up, it states that the player will receive help from a woman slash bioweapon named Holder. She will serve as a guide throughout the forest and tell you some of the town's history when you show her some treasures, keys, or puzzle pieces you find along the way. She also will teach the player different herb combinations, which the leaker mentions that there will be seven herb types which can be combined with each other to achieve various effects. The monsters fear this woman, just as they fear and respect Glaystig, which is the dog we previously just mentioned. Once again, the name Holder comes from a mythological creature described as a four spirit. Based off this description from the leaker, it kind of makes me wonder if she will act as somewhat of a merchant by selling you health items. But like I mentioned earlier, as you guys can see, it really looks like they're taking some sort of mythological approach to the game, which like I said, kind of does seem out of place, but also at the same time, I feel like it's way too early to make any judgments. Lastly, the leaker states that the plot will be about Ninth Moon Phase, and the nickname Apocalypse came from that idea. The moon serves as the game's symbol, and probably appears on a logo. So there you have it guys, those are all the brand new Resident Evil 9 leaks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.